and I'm a student at Colorado Christian University. So I was actually baptized as an infant in the Methodist Church, and I'm so, so thankful for that. However, for as young as I was, I don't think that I made a true commitment to Christ at that age. Um, only did, when I entered high school did I learn how to like surrender to the Lord completely. And God was just so faithful to me in that and helped to tear down hurt and walls in my heart um, over time. And towards the end of my sophomore year was when I decided to completely give my life to Jesus. Like for too long, I wanted to control my own life, but that's when I realized I just needed to see God as savior and give him control as the ultimate authority in my life. So from then on, I prayed that Christ will be done. And that's actually what led me here to Colorado. Um, and in the short time that I've been here, God has just been molding me in so, so many ways. And I felt the push to be rebaptized. And this time I'm like, I'm fully aware of what this action means and the impact that it has on my life. So I just want this to be the ultimate proclamation that Jesus is savior, not only now, but forever. <laughs> Do you trust in Jesus Christ alone for the forgiveness of your sins and the fulfillment of all God's promises to you, even eternal life? I do. do you forsake Satan and all his works and all his ways? I do. do you intend, with God's help, to obey Jesus' teaching and follow him as your Lord? I do! Okay. All right. You ready? I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> all right, Hadley. On profession of your faith in Jesus Christ, it is my pleasure to baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Buried with him in baptism, raised to walk in the new life. I just want this to be the ultimate proclamation that Jesus is Savior, not only now, but...